please. And we don't need to go over the details again, uh, but please do your best to do your best to uh, attend. At the very least, to keep us in your prayers. Tonight, I'd like to have the pleasure to call upon Islamic Relief Canada, and they want to make a plea to you. As you know, the situation in Burma and Syria is definitely top priority for all of us on our minds. And as much as we always want to collect, and it's important that we do our collection here for our center, it's also to give a chance for many relief organizations as we have Islamic Relief and others as well. So without further ado, I'd like to call Suhaib from Islamic Relief. Please give him a few minutes of your time. It won't take too long. Just our call. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a beautiful hadith that the example of this ummah is like one body when one part hurts the entire body responds with pain and fever and the word that he uses is an amazing word which is da'a which is related to the word da'wah like brother mentioned brother Asim he talked about the invitation for iftar da'a is to invite and exactly the, the word that, that's used is so precise in this, that as if when, when one part hurts, it invites other parts to become part of that pain. It invites other parts to become part of that pain. And right now the entire ummah is suffering. It's like every single part of this body is in pain. And it's looking at those parts that are living in peace and tranquility as we are over here in Canada. And it's saying, become part of our pain. Do something to help us out. And by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and organizations such as Islamic Relief and others are helping these people on ground. Are helping these people on ground to make a difference in their lives. And, and don't underestimate the presence of such organizations. There was a staff member of Islamic Relief who was in Gaza during one of the, uh, the, the worst situations over there. And one Palestinian, he told them and he said, you know, when you Muslims in the West stand up for us, take our name, it gives us hope. Shaykh, that's what he said. He said, it gives us hope. So when they know and they do know that there are Muslims in the West collecting funds for them so that they can at least make the life a bit better, it gives them a lot of hope. It gives them a lot of hope. We know the situation in Syria right now. It's been four years. I see a lot of kids running around. Some of them were not even born four years ago. Some of them were too young. They had no idea what was going on. It's been four years now. Now children, like the new generation is being born in this war-torn country. And all that they hear are war planes, bomb rockets. They don't know next minute whether they will be with, they will be they will become orphans. They have no idea. And Islamic relief by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala since day one has been on ground in Syria helping them out. Right now it's one of the last few organizations that are left inside Syria because they've been driven out. And so, alhamdulillah, in the last four years, we have helped close to 7 million Syrians in Syria and neighboring countries. That includes Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon. And you can go and look at the pictures and you can see how you can bring smile on their faces just by sitting in this mission. And then if you look at Burma, another, tribul uh, another tribulation that has struck uh, our brothers and sisters in those, in those places. They don't know, you know, for us, if our, our, our fasting is voluntary, you know, we, can, we, we choose to fast. For them, they are coerced. For them, they have no other option and they have no other food. They don't even know whether they will see if they are. They don't know that. And then they are, they are uh, put on these boats, overcrowded, and they're made to, they're just fleeing. And a lot of times they die out of suffocation. Alhamdulillah, by the mercy of Allah, Islamic Relief is on ground in Burma, providing them food aid. And those people who are, you know, made to, be on these boats and, and made to leave the land. Uh, when the land on the shores of Malaysia and Malaysia, Alhamdulillah, Islamic Relief is there providing them edifies and not food and not food items such as shelter. Because they need shelter, they don't have roof like us. Right? They don't have roof like us. They're, they're there by themselves, they have no support. I don't want to take too long. Just a humble appeal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَفِي أَمْوَانِهِمْ حَقُّ مَعْنُونَ And their wealth is a right. For who is sa'ili wal mahroom? For those who ask and those who are deprived. Today we are asking for those who are deprived. So give your zakat. We'll be standing at the door. Please give your zakat to Islamic Relief. And even if you don't want to give zakat, whatever is in your pocket, please donate generously. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was known as Ajbad al Nas, as someone who was the most generous of human beings. But when it comes to, to Ramadan, the Sahaba said that his generosity was like a wind. When wind blows, it doesn't look at who it's been 
benefited. It benefits everything. It benefits human beings, it benefits living beings, and it benefits non-living creations also. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open my heart and open all of our hearts. And I really appreciate Sheikh Hamid Salim and the management of Sheikh Fatiha Center because they have been extremely generous to, to uh, generous to Islamic Relief every single year. And their generosity has just con continues to increase. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the congregation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us and give us the ability to worship. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it truly is, as it is truly ought to be worshipped. One last hadith. Don't think these people are a burden on this ummah. So Allah said that this ummah is given victory before I find him. By their weak, right? By their du'as, by their prayers, and their sincerity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the